Hello, this is Commander T5, and today I am bringing you Total War Shogun 2. I'm going to be starting a new Fall of the Samurai campaign. I am going to start this in the Goaka clan. Um, the Makino chief, the, I'm sorry, the Makino clan of Nagoaka are loyal to the Shogun rather than the em Emperor. They are administrators rather than warriors, and claim descent from the Takenauchi no Sukune, the, legend, the legendary statesman and, and advisor to five great emperors of old. Nagoka benefits from its rulers' love of modern ideas and their links to foreign arms dealers. The domain has better business skills and economic bonuses. It can produce modern style units at a lower cost than others, and Nagoya. Nagoka troops can reload faster on the battle. So that is why I'm selecting them. I'm running this in window mode, so sadly I am a, I have a bottom picture so the screen cut off. No, sadly that's bad. I'm going to um I'm going to do a domination campaign. But you know I'm gonna do a law a yeah, domination campaign where I have to capture more than 38 provinces and ensure that at least 65 provinces are held by forces lo loyal to the Shogun, including Musashi and Yamashiro. I'm not sure which one is which, but there are these two at the Samurai Swords now. This one with the flag here is mine. I'm going to set the end of the to normal, I sadly can't reach those options. So let us begin. And uh, we're going to watch the campaign beginning video and then the hill speech. Goaka, which will explain the set. Ports, farms, and specialty buildings are positioned away from the castle town, so careful strategic planning and garrisoning is required in order to adequately defend our assets. So that the video will be Now this is The Fall of the Samurai, which is an add-on to the original game, Total War Shogun 2, which was released, I believe, 2011. Um, it's uh, not as great a game as Total War has done before, it's a long series, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, the original game is set to be 600 years ago. Well, After the Sengoku Jidai, peace reigned for 200 years. In Kyoto, the Emperor continued as divine head of state. But real power was held by the Tokugawa shogunate. For two centuries, they ruled with absolute authority. Japan prospered. The people were content. In 1853, American warships changed everything. The Shogun welcomed the West and signed the Treaty of Peace and Amity. The gates to Japan were open. Trade was established, but the agreements favored the Western powers. The economy faltered and the people suffered in 1863, the Emperor overruled the Shogun. An imperial decree ordered the expulsion of all Western powers. Ten years of diplomacy cast into the sea. Western powers gave their answer. To run out the guns. On my command, fire. In 
The Emperor brought death to his people. The imperialists would pay for their misguided actions. Order had to be restored. To strengthen our position, the Shogun allied with the French. We will study their ways and discover their secrets. Only then, can we destroy the fools around the Emperor and return honor to Japan? The Shogun must be victorious! Nagaoka Domain. The Makino family once served as retainers to the Tokugawa when they ruled Mikawa province. Now, as masters of our own domain, our loyalty to the Tokugawa shogunate is as strong as ever. We have learned of the movement to overthrow them, and we will do everything in our power to prevent such a disaster. Our first priority should be to neutralize the threat of imperialist attacks from the West. By moving westward and subjugating enemy domains, not only do we protect the shogun's interests, but we bring our troops closer to Kyoto. The ancient city cannot be allowed to fall into imperial hands any more than we can allow the shogun's seat in Edo to fall. When war comes, we, the people of Nagaoka, will be ready. We will defend Japan's interests in the face of adversity. For the shogun! Mission has been issued, developing our potential. Although it saddens me, saddens me to see our culture diluted by the barbarian ways of the Westerners, there are many advant advantages to embracing their technology. To conduct advanced research, we must first increase our capacity for development by building up our civic and industrial infrastructure. We have to increase our client's development level. There is no time limit. We can complete this when we want. And our award will be Inspired Endeavors, which gets plus 50% wealth generated by all provinces for 12 turns, which is nice. The Boshin War is a conflict between the forces of the Shogunate and those of the Emperor. Every clan must pledge allegiance to one or the other. The object of the campaign game is to secure allegiance to our cause and capture territory. When our clan's fame reaches a certain level, we must choose to rally behind one power or the other, or attempt to assume personal control of the country. This last option will lead to all but our most loyal allies turning against us. So there we are, There's that's what the Nagoka campaign is going to be like. I will continue this next time. This has been sort of like sort of a preview. Uh, this is Commander T5 saying, see you later.